Baja Rally. I thought I knew every form of motorsport out there, kind of dabbling, kind of check out the internet, kind of search around. I thought I'd seen it all. But this one, I got to tell you, Scotty, this has got me very, very intrigued. Baja Rally, what's it all about? Um, well, you know, Scott, we came out with this about three years ago. It's the interjection of uh, European uh, rally format here in North America for the most part. Um, it's a model after the Dakar rally, which has now moved to South America. And I went down there in 2011 with Race Desert and learned a, a lot about how this style of racing is different than what we're used to up in the desert uh, down in Baja. Uh, it's a little bit more uh, civilized and um, <laughs> less, uh, less chaotic uh, for the racers by, because of the navigation component. So it's a five-day event uh, with uh, five days of racing. Uh, they race every day, all day, from early morning till early afternoon, and then they come into, they arrive in a, in a different area each night mm -hmm. without knowing how they were going to get there. Uh, and then, you know, that's the bivouac or the overnight camp uh, that's there where they get their bike repaired or serviced, uh, get food, water, preparing for the next day, rest, and study their uh, road book um, instructions for the next day. Well, uh, basically, we could take the, what we know of the Baja 1000, the 500, and throw that away bring in the elements of Dakar, and this is what you guys are doing in, in Baja, Mexico. I'd say it's pretty, pretty close, you know, and borrowing the best of the uh, traditional score in Nora off-road, uh, there's less whoops and less um, uh, silty uh, areas that are, that are run out by trucks and a little bit more smoother, faster roads uh, where they can pick up a little bit more momentum is uh, more along the line of uh, World Rally uh, Championship and FIM cross country. Well, you have a pretty good number of riders, it sounds like you said, 80, 85, something like that. What now, I'm going to go, kind of go back to the, the Baja 1000 and 500 kind of scenario. Do you have chase vehicles of any kind, you helicopters, I mean, the safety aspect of it? I mean, there's a whole thing. That, I mean, like I say, I'm, I'm intrigued by this whole thing you got going here. Thanks a lot, Scott. You know, uh, along those lines about chase and support, the riders are not able to get uh, support from their teams during the stages, during the time stages, so there's no support. So you don't have chaotic um, uh, um, chase teams driving fast down the highway trying to catch their rider, uh, which is a safety issue. We also don't have um, fueling. There's no hot pits, so there's no... Um, fueling on the fly we stop them for 30 minutes there it's called the neutral zone we stop them and then they gas one at a time slowly and safely and then they get back out onto the course and resume uh their 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 timing portion uh, this for the helicopters we've developed a communication system and a safety rescue extraction and insurance uh, program that allows us to pick up riders that are in distress uh, with a rescue helicopter. So we run all of that uh, for safety. Um, and so we have multiple helicopters and moto medic teams. So we have uh, trained EMTs and helicopter rescue guys, uh, nurses, surgeons that are also pro level motorcycle riders. And they ride on our course uh, following the uh, racers, following the racers. They're called moto medics. And they take signals. Uh, distress signals in their in their helmet they're wired with PCI uh, radio systems that the relay or the weatherman yeah. sends them a distress signal moto medics we have your position continue down the course for four kilometers you'll find an incident there and then the moto medics can speed up and treat and begin to treat a victim and decide to call the helicopter so that's called our moto medic program and it's it's brand new it's something that we've developed over the last three years well I guess I want to emphasize as I'm learning as you explain all this thing I want to emphasize the fact that this is legit racing, this is a legit uh, motorsport, and that you were saying earlier that this is actually FIM sanctioned. Actually, it's not FIM sanctioned, but it's modeled after their, their general rules. So instead of going for the sanction, we just are basically acting like, uh, like in adopting the same regulations and safety protocol. And this all stemmed, this whole thing stemmed from you going to that car with Race Desert and getting a bug to do this in Baja. Exactly. I couldn't uh, say thanks to Race Desert or Klaus Rosh more than anybody else. Uh, they, they put me out there. I learned and uh, brought it back and we're teaching. So we're paying it forward.
And the thing is, too, you, like you say, the rider numbers are increasing. You have it opened up to quads if they're interested as well as, you said, UTVs. That's correct. So quad racers here in the Southland, you know, they might uh, be, uh, catch a little glimpse of Dakar and see that it's very big for the quads. It's about $900 retrofit to a quad to get you ready for the Baja Rally. Uh, same thing with your uh, skinny bike, you know, your 450s, 500s, uh, 350s. Uh, you can, it's about $900 retrofit to get ready for the Baja Rally in terms of the amount of equipment that you need to buy. Where do you see this going? I mean, you must have like a three or five year plan. Where Absolutely. do you see this? You know, going out to our to different countries, we'd like to take Baja Rally uh, out of uh, Mexico into uh, uh, other parts of North America, Argentina, Australia. But for the most part right now, we're just developing, we're doing what blocking and tackling, building a team that can handle this every year, growing the team that can support 120 riders, 150 riders. So as we double in size each year, we're trying to focus on managing that. And so three-year plan, TV, broadcast, uh, you know, some uh, more merchandise uh, licensing and, and just organic. And I, I really want to emphasize the fact there's a lot of guys out there that are racers within their discipline, within their sport, and they want to be able to take that sport to another level, and but they keep racing. Great point. So, and the thing is, you you were a racer, or probably still are, but you went to Dakar, you experienced it, you came out back here, and you're just running the thing. You are just, you keep pumping your energy into it, but not as a competitor, as a promoter. Exactly, like think of like a neurotic dog, like pushing <laughs> pushing a cobblestone around with a snout, you know, looking for someone to play with. It's a lot of hustle, hustle, move the ball down the field, build with the team, blocking and tackling. Day of the race, we just push the ball across the end zone. About uh, race, aging racers, you know, racers get older, with age comes the cage. Uh, you know, with age comes the cage, uh, but, so this discipline is suited to a more uh, maturing audience, a, a, like a gentle, gentleman like ourselves who can't afford to get hurt. You might have a business partner. You have di your disability coverage uh, has exclusions, and so it's it's fast racers from the day. Speed demons can tone it down, brush up on navigation, use their speed and skill and technique that they develop, but but do it with the. Um, Roadbook navigation, it's a better way for uh, older racers to stay competitive without having to throw it all on the line on Sunday morning at the de on the desert start line. Now, where can these people that are interested in this kind of thing, like you say, the old desert rats, where can they go to get more information on this and maybe even contact you? The best way to do that is check out our website. If, Google, if you Google Baja Rally, all this first stuff that comes up is there. Our website's BajaRallyMoto.com. Uh, what I would recommend, watch the videos link. There's a whole bunch of, uh, probably about an hour and a half worth of videos on there. Uh, that's what gets you uh, fired up to do the event. Beautiful, uh, uh, spectacular landscapes, seascapes, dynamic uh, terrain, and uh, we're using courses and routes that are uh, that haven't been used before. And that's for the seasoned Baja expert that's seen it all. Come on down, ride with us. We'll show you some new uh, some new ways to get down there. Well, just before we had a chance to talk to him, I was watching some of your videos, and you had Larry Rossler uh, on one of the videos talking about Baja Rally. And, doesn't get any better than that right there. So congratulations, best of luck, man. Appreciate Hope to it, see man. you down there sometime, brother. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot to be out here at the uh, at the Off Road and UTV Expo with AZ Shows. Thanks, Andy Myers and the whole crew at Champa, Dirtskins, the whole family. Never stop riding.